All right, hello, good afternoon, whatever time it is you're watching me right now. Okay, so what is the connection between a breast milk and then the baby's brain? I will try to be as fast as possible in this video, not to talk so much and then I'll avoid some grammars. But before I go, please turn on the notification for this channel for subsequent videos. I need you to subscribe. I know you hear a lot of this same thing from content creators, but please, I need you to do that and help this channel grow. Thank you so much. Okay, so the baby, the mother, the baby's brain, and then breast milk. So when you talk about breast milk, the breast milk consists of a lot of all of the classes of food, you know, carbohydrates, protein, vitamins, mineral salts, water, fat and oil, all of it, you know, the baby, the mother's body converts all the nutrients she takes in, you know, converts it into the breast milk and then she releases it. There are some nerves that has been sent to her brain whenever the baby, baby places its mouth on the nipple and then sending those signals to the brain. The brain sent uh, a signal back for lactin releasing and all of those things like that. And then the baby gets to feed itself. So why is exclusive breastfeeding so necessary, so important? It's just that it helps your brain in growing. You know, unfortunately, we have some kids who are growing up normally these days, you know. Some of them having to be imbecile, some autistic some having some deficiency in the within themselves uh could be as a result of deficient in breastfeeding you know exclusive breastfeeding and this should go for six months as you might have had it without um, you sabotaging it with uh another meal entirely so that's it's questionable anyway it's flexible you can as well just feed the baby with another thing but i think it's okay you do it exclusive you understand solely the breast milk it goes and helps the brain so much well it's a cognitive function in memory in learning it helps the baby in every uh neural activity breathing you know all the system it helps the baby grow well in physique and then mentally you understand what i'm saying there are unfortunate reasons or a scenarios whereby we see the parent or the mother died and then um, that kid is unable to be fed with uh, breast milk you know there are some that they are doing these these artificial ones that they get to feed baby with you can get that uh feed the child and then hope for the best it's not that when you don't have breast milk you won't grow well or you won't grow uh it's not certain as such you understand what i'm saying but it is necessary that a child feeds exclusively of the breast milk being fed for six months and or more you understand before involving different food that's we have poison in it, bacteria in it and all of those things we consume because our own immune system is much um, mature to combat all of those things we eat because almost everything we eat have one bacteria or the other inside of it but the more beneficial the the benefits it's more compared to what we have been affected with so it's okay i think that should answer your question that you feed your child with breast milk at least for the first six months for brain function smartness and all of those things that is needed in a baby thank you please don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification and then i'll see you next, next, uh, next video tomorrow thank you